this is a wild like 1320 performance i mean i live in california pretty close to them but every time i order something from them it's shipped within a day and since i live pretty close to them i get it i get the package pretty quickly too so this is the uh this is the 1320 performance um post mount and it's already in a way better packaging than the other one right, so it's pretty much the same product as the other guy they look virtually identical I bet if I sat them down it would be the exact same height Exact width. Now, did I just spend a bunch of money because I needed the right hardware? Let's see. Are these the same bolts? No, they got it right. Fine toothed. So, I just spent all this money basically just to get these the right hardware for the exact same product. And that's just fine with me because at least I know this is going to work. Alright, what is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I will be going over the two post mounts that I bought. Um, and then deciding on which one I'm going to be returning. It's pretty open and shut for me, but I just wanted to make this video since I did not go out of my way to buy both of these um, different brackets. Um, I figured it might be appreciated a little bit. So... On the left here, we have the 1320 Performance post mount, and then on the right here, we have a no-name eBay post mount. So if you remember from the last video, the hardware that came with the eBay um, post mount I mean, they're both pretty much eBay post mounts. They're not made by, like, I don't know who makes this. There's no brand name on it, so it's kind of like a generic piece as well. Um, both of these are the same exact product from a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, the one that I got from 1320 was cleaned out a little better. Uh, they got rid of all the CNC metal shavings and stuff. This one had a ton of metal shavings I had to clean out. Um, most importantly, the 1320 came with bolts that actually are the proper thread. Whereas with the eBay one, they came with, um, I think like the thread pitch was like um, either 1.5 or 1.0, I can't, I don't know for sure. But the thread pitch that's correct for Honda's is um, M10-1.25. So whatever hardware came with this kit from the generic one, the generic uh, account on eBay, came with the wrong hardware. Um, the reason I ended up buying this kit is because I started the return process on this one already. Um, I was trying to work out a deal with the seller where I just go and buy the hardware, but I couldn't find this hardware in the correct th uh, thread pitch um, locally. And the only place online I could find something, um, they weren't high grade um, steel. They were like grade 5 or something. And these are, I believe these are grade 12. Um, so, yeah, when it comes to having like a motor being attached to your frame I would trust the high tensile um, steel over you know anything else so yeah long story short um, they both line up exactly the same um, with the proper hardware um, they're virtually exactly the same mirrored product so if you are to go the cheap route and get one of these, I got this for 55 bucks shipped. Um, 
and that was me offering him lower than the his asking price on it um, if you go that route just make sure that you get the proper hardware um, I think these are both like two and a half inch long bolts and then this is just a two inch long bolt um, like I said M10-1.25 is a thread uh, the right bolt size and thread pitch um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on throwing this on here I already test fitted both of them they both fit exactly the same but I'm gonna keep the 1320 and um, yeah let's knock this out pretty good there. Um, I'm going to torque these down to 40 foot-pounds of torque. Alright, now that those are all torqued down, I can start to put back on the timing cover and crankshaft pulley. It's starting to bind up over here next to this um, this rubber gasket. And I guess maybe the gasket isn't needed anymore because it doesn't line up with any of the OEM stuff. So maybe I'll take that off. Alright, with that removed, it freed up enough space for the mount to sit flush. Here. So now I just gotta throw on this uh, valve cover back on. Throw on this valve cover back on. I gotta throw this valve cover back on. Um, if you don't remember, didn't catch in the last video where I brought it up, when I tried to take off this valve cover, um, it just snapped right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a little bit of uh, Honda Bond up in between that, and hopefully that's good enough because I do not want to have to spend another $30 for another Felpro. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope it uh, was educational, and I'm hoping that um, the time that I took to order both of these post mounts and show you the difference in the quality and the packaging and um, the hardware that comes with it is appreciated. Um, just trying to do my part, folks. That's going to do it. Peace out.